YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Give us five minutes. We're just doing five a little minutes. bit. Five minutes. You won't need five Actually, minutes. not five minutes. One minute. We're just doing a little bit of hocus pocus here and we get it started. Okay. Big, big welcome, everybody, on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So I'm getting in the humor here this morning. We're all about Halloween and getting ready for the midterm break. So just for anybody who missed how to make the Halloween bows, using the orange and the black ribbon. If you pop over, not now, stay with me now, just go to my eyes, but we'll just have it on for the introduction. And um, pop over to the Flurry Fun Group, you know Kay's Flurry Fun Group, and you'll be able to watch a step-by-step -step tutorial how to make these bows. They're so simple. Now I'm gonna take off the hat now because it's driving me mad it is. But you're getting the idea, have we anybody watching? And what we need is to do is comment, comment, and let us know where you're watching from. We have oodles and oodles of prizes to give away today. So we need just commenting, get into the, in, into the interacting. And as I said, let's know who's watching and where you're watching from. So anyone watching, Deirdre? Uh, yes, there's actually loads of people. We've What's 10 people. Like? Okay, your yeah, hair is gorgeous. Nothing. You look you lovely. You look lovely. <laughs> you look lovely. Um, just, we're, we are going to be on for an hour today. So just... Yeah, so anybody, while we're doing a bit of the introductions and I'm telling about the spot prizes, go off and make yourself a cup of tea, big mug of tea, big mug of co coffee. This is probably going to run into 50, 60 minutes this morning because we're going to do a double show. We're going to do two arrangements. One is going to be completely dried and one is going to be in artificial. So while you're going making the cup of tea, I'm going to talk about a new foliage farm that got in contact. Well, they're probably not new, but it was one that we came in contact. It was a nice little surprise. Nice little surprise. So we very rarely get something sent out to us for nothing. But um, this company called Tanners, which is um, fine Irish foliage. It's eucalyptus is basically what they grow. And they're based in Lusk, County Dublin. And this would be some of the samples of the eucalyptus that they do. These are the bunches. There's 10 stems, so especially any of my past students that are watching there, or anybody that's from a flower shop, it's absolutely amazing. So there's 10 stems there, and 10 stems there of the eucalyptus. And also we have this other varieties here. The two, there's kind of like the larger leaf, so there's 10 stems there to give you an idea. And we have the smaller leaf one. Again, I think one of the stems is still here, there we go. And there's 10 stems here. So it's absolutely great value, very reasonably priced. I, want to, I do have the prices, but I prefer that you've contacted him direct yourself and their wholesale. Their wholesale, so this can't be for somebody just looking to buy one bunch. The minimum that you can buy is a box of it, and there's 100 stems. So i kind of shown what 10 stems look like. But you can get a mixture of all the different varieties of eucalyptus, which is brilliant. And I'm going to use that on Monday. Haven't got time today. I'd love to use it today. Haven't got time because I've already got this planned. So tune in on Monday again and I'm going to show you how to make some fabulous eucalyptus Halloween wreaths. But listen, this will be fabulous for flare ranging as well. And we're also going to be doing some flare ranging next week as well. Bernie Hurley's having a rash of sandwich in the sunshine. No, Jean, have you a bit of black pudding on that, Bernie? I'd love a little bit of black pudding on that too. Your man's name is Johnny Tanner and his phone number is 086 385 3633. Now I'm a little bit blind, okay? So I'll post that later on in the comments below. Or if anybody wants the details, just comment. And if I'm... Johnny is watching Tanner Foliage, just tag yourself. Huge yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Post um your Facebook page if you're watching, or post any links or the links to your website, etc. And really, thanks a million. Absolutely brilliant. Actually, we've got a bar of chocolate for nothing. Oh, we did. So, Caroline Silk, if you're watching, and she sent on her homework, thanks a million. And you know, we always send them out a bar of chocolate with their kids, and then she sent two time, uh, time out time bars. Is, yeah. Time out bars. So, listen, we're going to have them with a cup of tea later on, Caroline. Thanks a million. Now, loads of prizes. Caroline, today. she wouldn't let me have it this morning. <laughs> no, I wouldn't let her have it. I said, no, we have to get this show on the road, and then we can have the cup of tea afterwards. So remember, the main reason, well, we come on because we want to talk to you and we love doing these live classes as well. But as we said, for the month of October, and I have my um, cancer t-shirt on, for the month of October, we're turning October pink here at Case Flower School. And what we, do, what we have done is we have joined up with a charity agency called Look Good, Feel Better that supports women going through cancer. And basically their motto is they want to put a smile back on women's faces. They offer skincare, makeup, hair um, lessons, um, they get to meet like makeup artists, skin specialists, etc. There's lots, 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 lots that they do. Now so far, and we're only into the 16th of October, we have raised 
4,600 euros. It could even be gone up since this morning, okay? So that was the last time that I looked at it. Now listen, girls and boys, we want to get that to 5,000 today. That's only 400 euros. So I'm not sure how many people are watching. But for everybody watching, if you only donate five euros for this class, don't do it now. Wait till you get your class. And if you think the class was worth a fiver or even a tenner, that's all we're looking for you to do is go on, make a small donation and let's get that up to the 5,000 euros because that was our target. I know we're only halfway through the month, but to be honest, we've put a lot of work into the last two weeks so far. We're posting the videos. We're still going to do more videos with you next week as well. But listen, let's get on board. Now, the um, link might be up no, yet. No, I just pinned it in the comments. Okay. So. so the link is pinned in the comments. That means it'll always be the very top link. And, um, and as I said, oh, it's actually not in my bio at the moment, but I'll actually put it back into my bio. We'll get it. So listen, we'll get in touch with you, or listen, just message us if you can't find the link. It's very hard when we start these lives to get the links up straight away. We're, we're trying to do everything here. So what, who's watching here? What's well, happening? we've loads of people watching and we're getting very mixed weather reports. We're getting sunshine at Nastly. There's about the weather. No, Jesus, you're on the It's ball. raining in Kildare. Well, it's, it's drizzly here in Dublin. The ground is wet. It's not lashing, do you know the way? So it's not pure shite. It's just kind of, you know, getting there it is. But the weather's not great in Dublin, but it's not a bit cold, I have to say. We had the heat on when we came in early this morning, and then we had to, we were both having a bit of a tropical moment, and we <laughs> said, turn off the heat, and we didn't need it on today. So it's not cold at all. It's great. No, and it's sunny in Longford, and we've lots of people watching on Instagram as well, so welcome to so we've everybody. So lots of prizes today, and some of the prizes are going to be specifically for Instagram, because the people who've donated the prizes and sponsoring the um the live here this morning they are on instagram and then we have some prizes specifically for facebook because again the people who sponsored the prizes are on facebook now some of them could be on both and like what we want us to do as well is eventually like pop around and support all these groups again for donating the prizes so one of my favorite prizes anyway and i'm raging actually that we did that we only got a picture that we didn't get a real sample <laughs> Because we can't eat these with our cup of tea. But we have a gorgeous um, student with us at the moment called Dion. And Dion's daughter, Nadia, contacted us. And she has a company called The Bake Box Boutique. Now, remember this, girls, because you know how the questions kind of arise, right? Her name is Nadia, and she's from The Bake Box Boutique. And Nadia is giving us two. One of them is called The Trick or Treat Box. I presume it's that one there. I'm holding it upside down. Um, so this one here, I, and I could have them the wrong way around, by the way, and it's worth 40 euros. And the other one is the Hocus Pocus box. Now, again, I could have it the wrong way around. I'm not sure if I have it upside down. And it's worth 35 euros. Now, before you all start commenting, right, you have to collect them from Blanchardstown or she'll deliver kind of, you know, like within reason around the Blanchardstown area. They're fresh cakes. You're going to have to contact her and you can organize them to collect them or deliver them. Now, let's get the ball rolling, dear. To think of a question, get the price going and Nadia if you're watching post some pictures of the cakes your link to your Facebook page and your link to the website so what's the question going to be Deirdre what's the name of the company what's Tag the name them. of the company yeah Tag so, them. will you remember that it was a bit of a mouthful well, I say it quietly. Okay, go on. Okay, it's called the Bake Box Boutique. Okay? So tag them. All one word. On Instagram and tag them on Facebook. We yeah. have one for each. One for each. Okay, so one box of cakes is going to go to the Instagram followers and one box of cakes is going to go to the Facebook followers. And the YouTube followers, don't be worrying. I know yeah, there's days we have something special for okay. you later. Who's done well Just week? to let you know, Bernie, Bernadette Kalo is on and she's, her orange jumper that she bought with her voucher for the Donegal shop arrived this morning. Oh, brilliant. Well, post photograph of a Bernadette and let us see it so also what we had was and we're giving this on instagram only isn't it dear yeah okay so anybody because we didn't get any sun this year well we got very little sun i know we got it early in the year but the majority of us had to stay at home this year and we got no holidays so you know yourself there's nothing like a bit of false tan so tan organics now this stuff is amazing because i have used this stuff myself i love this box for myself i was nearly going to sky it okay <laughs> So you can see that there's two, one is a preparation and one then is actually the, the tanning lotion. But look, they even gave you the mitt. So all you need is somebody with a nice big hand and get your back rubbed, okay? And it'll be as brown as a berry you will and it'll be absolutely fabulous. So tan organic. 
has given us this price here. And we're going to give this away on Instagram because Tan Organic is mostly on Instagram. So we need just to start tagging Tan Organics. So do it on Facebook as well because you could have a Facebook page. So put the at sign and put Tan Organics and even say thanks Tan Organics for offering the prize. And we're going to announce And the just one more later. thing about Tan Organics is if you don't win this, if you buy any Tan Organics for the month of October, they're donating one euro to look good, feel better. Oh, that's great. So that's even so a double whammy. Them, a double whammy, exactly. So they're also supporting look good, feel better. So we've two competitions running at the moment. One for the Bake Box Boutique. Okay, and that's for the two lots of cakes, one on Instagram and one on Facebook. All you have to do is tag them, okay? And one is for Tan Organics, okay? And again, all you have to do is tag them. And we're going to announce the winners later on. We're announcing the winners later because, listen, there's so much to get the show on the road. So I'm going to start and we'll come back and you, that, this will keep you busy tagging away there. Also comment and let us know where you're from and what the weather is like around the country. So you've seen me use these bulb bowls, as they're called. A lot of people think I say bold bowls. It must be the Dublin accent. So bulb bowls. And we have them for sale here in our floral sundry shop on the website. But most flower shops will sell them. And it's just that we got our dad, Mr. K, to scoop out the pumpkins. That the bowl fits down perfectly. Can you see down into it? And what I've done is I have it wedged with a third of a block of dry oasis. Now this is dry oasis, okay? But what I've done to the dry oasis is I've used the same black spray that I used on the pumpkin is I sprayed the oasis and the container, the edge of the container, and it just helped to camouflage it. And that's a great tip when you're doing dried arrangements or silk arrangements, you'll see me doing another one in a little while, is spray the um, oasis, the colour, or even a different colour. That feckin' grey is an awful colour to try and hide and to try and camouflage. So spray it any colour at all. So even around Christmas time, if you're doing gold arrangements, spray the dry oasis gold. If you're doing a silver arrangement, spray the dry oasis silver. Now the sprays that we're using are Little and Aldi, by the way, 349 I think, or 249 Really, really yeah. cheap anyway. Okay, so you get them in, in Aldi. I know the ones I Little and Aldi, and other places could have them. It's just that that's where we picked them up, okay? And there's no sponsorship there for Little and Aldi. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to pull this one out just so that you can see it. I just have it wedged in. So in the very end of the container, I put a little wedgie. And then I had two thirds of a block of oasis, which you can see wedged in. And then I used some smaller pieces. Now I'm probably putting them in the wrong slots at this stage, but I kind of went around it into this one's not fitting in there. But you're getting the idea is where I had it all wedged in. And that's exactly, I'm going to throw it on the floor there. That's exactly what I did to the black one. Well, it wasn't black, I sprayed it black. So our pumpkin is sprayed black as well. Now in the past, um, and again, any of our students that are watching, we have used these twigs and they're called birch twigs or willow twigs. And we buy them in from a foliage farm in Wicklow and most flower shops will sell them to you as well. I've only got two or three stems of them here. And these were white when I bought them in. He does sell them in natural and different colors as well. But I was, we were addicted to this box spray. Maybe it was the smell of it, I don't know, because <laughs> the smell of it is potent it is, you know. You definitely want your mask on when you're spraying it. But we sprayed it black. And we're going to use that for a little bit of height in the arrangement. So while I'm doing this here, you have a little chat to us there. Okay, so just, uh, there's actually loads of donations coming in at the moment, which is fantastic. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do with anybody that donates today, we have loads of prizes. We have vouchers. In on day, people are messaging me, I, strangers, you know the way, people that we don't even know are messaging us and like offering prizes. And you just find that the whole class would be gone just announcing prizes. So that's why at the beginning I said, let's get the ball rolling here with all the prizes that we had. So, um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is anybody that donates today to Look Good, Feel Better, our, our Just Giving page, they, I'm going to, we're going to randomly pick and we're going to set, get in contact with you and send out prizes. So we're probably going to give away about 10 prizes through the donation box that they donate today. But make sure you put your email address in the message of the donation box so we can contact you. Yeah. Um. So that's really important. And obviously you can donate as often as you want to get as many yeah, the chances. the more times you donate, so rather than donating 50 euros, you could donate 10 <laughs> times 5 euros. Hint, hint, wink, wink, to get the idea. And then once your email address comes up in the comments, you know that way, because that's the only way we can contact you through the donation page. We see your name, but we've no way of contacting you. And we really, really would appreciate 
anybody that wins prizes is to go onto their Facebook page or Instagram page and thank those that have donated the prizes. Like fair play to these people. As I said, most of them, we don't even know them. It was like Nadia came on. Her mum's done a course. She's seen the videos and she just felt like, you know, that she'd come on. One of our other students um, sent us on and I'm going to um, call her. Her name is called The Crafty Lady. I think her name is Caroline. I'm confused. Actually, sure, there's a letter in here. Yeah, it is Caroline. Caroline Faulkner, right? So she's one of our students at the moment. And this is just beautiful, okay? Look, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. How do you say it? Macrammies? Something like that. And it's handmade. It's handmade, it is. Isn't it beautiful? And she's even sent... I'm going to push that over there to the side. There we go. Can this area yeah, we can see it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she even has the um, bowl that goes down into it and the hook for hanging it up, the whole lot. So it's the crafty lady and it's with a K. So again, tag her there, the at sign, that crafty lady um, on Facebook. And um, we're going to, I don't know how we're going to organise a winner for this but one. But again, I'm going to, we're going to randomly pick. And listen, girls, I'm recycling everything. I'm going to use the same box that she, I put a new stamp on, I will. I'm going to use the same box, package it all up and post it out to somebody like later on. So we're going to have to think about a question or something for that. But listen, start tagging that crafty lady and thank Caroline there for that amazing prize. Now, you can see so far, I just have the twigs standing up there for a little bit of height and a little bit of movement in the arrangement. Just, Caroline is actually watching. So it's Crafty Lady C at Crafty Lady C beginning with K. Give her a tag. Thank her for this. And we will randomly pick anybody that tags her on Facebook is going to win that prize. So, and Caroline, feel free, put up the link to the Facebook page, the website page, and any other pictures that you have. And again, later on, when people have more time, they can go through it. Now, when we were in the wholesalers, actually when Deirdre was in the wholesalers, she bought these like Valori velvet that's the only way I could describe them they're absolutely gorgeous and again if you go to your local flower shop they'll be able to get them in for you right again they were bought wholesale so it's not like you can go yourself and you can see the way the flower shops them. will probably sell flower them. shops will have them and again you can order them off your flower shop and they can get them in for you because again the wholesaler that sells these only deals with flower shops you can't just go yourself so I have two stems of them and I'm going to use them to get a little bit of height in the arrangement and God, the black is coming off on me. Well, I mean, I'm going to rub it into my black t-shirt. You won't see it. I had to give this a dash of ink or a dash of ink, a little bit more spray earlier on um, before I started here because when I put the dry oasis in, this is, I should have tried this beforehand. See, there you go. So get a bit of a cut in it and crack it and they normally come off. So I'm going to stand two stems of these kind of coming up there to give us a little bit of height. I'm going to bring that one down lower than I planned to and I'm going to bring the other one up higher. So I'm doing things Did you cut it too short, backwards. Jeanette? Did you? I cut it too short. But sure, isn't it great to see making, me making an arse of things anyway? Everyone always thinks, oh, Jesus, Jeanette is brilliant. Believe me, I'm not brilliant. I make loads and loads and loads of mistakes. So there you go. There is our two stems of the pumpkins. And what you could probably Probably do there is quite a lot of them there is you could cut off one or two of them okay and just cut them off kind of individually and then you could rewire them and remember I said on Monday Monday or Tuesday I'm going to use up all this fabulous eucalyptus that Johnny Tanner sent on to us and I'll be able to wire up any of these little odd bits and pieces that I have lying around and I'll use them all up in the wreath okay so that's our two stems there. Do you want to say there, Deirdre? No, we have our, the, the pages are flying up. So I'm glad I'm not picking out the winners as yeah. we're we speaking. We knew because... it's going to be busy. And we said we have enough watching what's going on without trying to count all the all the, the winners for the prizes. And it'd be easier to announce them later on. And then some people do be giving out that we're talking too much. You know, that way so we have to try and get the flare arrangements done. So, so far, the companies that we're looking for you to tag is the Bake Box Boutique. And they're offering the two boxes of cakes. Blanchestown area. So if you're from Cork, there's no point in unless you're going to drive up and you can't drive up. You're locked in in your own your own county. We have Tan Organics over on Instagram. So do the at sign Tan Organics. We have um, the Crafty Lady C. So the at She's sign that Crafty Lady um, on and the letter C on Facebook. So keep tagging. And what I'm going to do on YouTube. So YouTube people, I we have at the moment we've nine people. Our YouTube is actually building, which is fantastic. Ah, brilliant. Yeah, um, nine little people there. <laughs> So anybody that comments on YouTube, we're going to randomly pick probably three people okay. and send out prizes to them. Okay. I have vouchers and stuff. What I'm going to do on Facebook and Instagram in the next day or so is actually tag everybody that gave us prizes. So everyone gets a shout out um, for donating the prizes for Look Good, Feel Better. So thanks a million. 
So next thing I have here are proteas. Now these are artificial proteas, okay? They're fabulous, aren't they? They were a little bit expensive, but sure, listen, there was no expenses spared when it comes to look good, feel better. So these, I'm gonna use the two of them. Now they were quite thick, the stems, so I have cut them in advance because I knew myself on live, I'd have a little bit of a problem. So one of them I've cut really, really short, and I'm going to insert really low down onto, and because it's artificial, I can give it a good press, really low down onto their floral foam, and then I'm placing our second one just in behind it slightly so this will kind of like be our focal point in the arrangement you see kind of our our two proteas down there now obviously this arrangement could be done in fresh flowers as well but lots of these are asking me about artificial and dried but like if i was doing this in fresh i'd have the fresh foam i'd still use them twigs you can get fresh Chinese lanterns, which would be very similar to them pumpkins. So you could have your Chinese lanterns coming up. You can get proteas, but again, you could substitute them for orange lilies or orange gerberas or orange roses. So do you see how easy it would be to like, you know, duplicate it or substitute some of the materials? Now, last week we showed you the alliums out of the Deirdre's garden and see what we've done to them this week. So these are the alliums that Deirdre spray, or sorry, originally she dried them and that's what they looked like. As I said, we were flying with the black spray then this week. We were as high as kites we were here at Case Flair School. So we sprayed some of them black, and I'm going to use these to one side of the arrangement. So back to you there, Deirdre. Okie dokie. Well, just every loads. time I turn this, I'm getting, You're getting black, black on you. Yeah. That's, that's what you get for spraying freshly. Um, over on, on YouTube, there's loads of people commenting. Um, and the other thing I'm going to ask you to do, guys, is share this post. Oh, yeah, we forgot to say about the yeah, so Listen, the sharing is really, really important. If you don't share it, you're listening, we get no interaction. And that actually ruins the whole thing all together. So get sharing, everybody. And when you share it, actually write down that you clicked share so that we know that you shared. Um, somebody just asking, you know, how did you preserve the pumpkin? She made one last week and it didn't survive. Okay, so do you remember last week, haven't got the bottle here beside me, I diluted bleach and water, about a third bleach, two thirds water, in one of them spray bottles, you just mixed it up, and then I sprayed the inside of the pumpkin with it. And I find, um, you can probably see this, the bulb bowl fits down securely into it, like there's no air getting at it, so it's nearly like it's completely sealed. Like we, well, when I say we work it, my dad works the hole that fits the bulb bowl perfectly so it's actually sealed in now i'm sure after a week or two when i lift it up it probably wouldn't be very, very nice you know what i mean but it seals in and if it does go all mushy and a bit mushroomy in there you can see it you can smell it and it's fine but you will only get about two weeks out of it, but they're two weeks now aren't they these are two weeks now yeah like you know what i mean and there there's you know there's a little bit of fluff growing as we'd say but sure we all have a bit of fluff under our bed. The Big Box Boutique has just checked in on Instagram. Oh, she only Nadia. me in now, Nadia. There you go. Well, we announced you there earlier on. And as I said, Nadia, post up the photographs of the cakes, your website, your Instagram page, your website, your Facebook pages, whatever. Let's, like, everybody then will be able to see it. Now, also what I had then was a couple of lotus pods or lotus heads. And again, they were brown normally. I'm going off camera for a second. I did. Keep them passing me the wires there. They're just send me hand. So what I did was I sprayed them with the black spray as well. As I said, we were mad into this black spray. And I'm going to use some wires. And the wire goes right through the lotus pod. It's actually very soft. Bend it over, wrap the wire around, and that's them wired. And again, they just give you a nice feature at the end of the, um, the floral foam. Now, some people have a... A phobia to this seems I actually can't pronounce it. If somebody can actually can remember, I actually can't even remember how you even say it or spell it, never mind pronounce it. It's a phobia to holes anyway. If anybody knows what the phobia is and knows what it is, um, put up there and you never know if you can get a prize for you. But I know if Laurie Cunningham is watching, and um, Laurie Cunningham is, she works for a confetti magazine, the wedding magazine. And when she was with us one time um, doing one of the Christmas courses, she nearly had a heart attack because she's one of them that has that phobia. So Heather Betsy, if you're watching, you should know what the name of it is. So you can see there, I'm just making a group of the lotus pods or lotus heads, you see to one side there. And again, it helps to camouflage in your floral foam. The next thing I have, 
Again, when Deirdre was in the wholesalers, now I haven't a clue what these are supposed to be. Fluffies. Fluffy duffies, okay? <laughs> so they're fluffy little balls of orange, aren't they gorgeous anyway? And we're going to use one of them, a couple of them actually, to one side of the arrangement to give us another little bit of movement. And I'm going to come out to this side here like with them. So again, I'm just going to cut them kind of shorter. You will find with the artificial, you can see me here, like, they, like they're stiff enough to try and cut. So I'm going to bring like one or two or three of these out to one side. Now the great thing about artificial is you can bend them and manoeuvre them and cut your tags off and you know make them go the way you want them to go where, and don't pull them off. Now the bits that you pull off, put them aside and you can use them in the Halloween wreath that we're going to make on Monday. So any little bits and pieces. Now my mum was actually... Here we go, Angela Clark says, try put... Tripophobia is a fear of holes. Okay, so we have to believe her because yep. we can't argue because we don't know what the right answer is. <laughs> but it sounds like it, so fair play to you. So you've won a prize. So take a note of her name. Don't know what the prize is going to be. It'll be something. And I'll tell you what, if you actually send us an email, Angela, was it? Yeah. So Angela, send us an email with your address. And just put that you got you got the holy answer. <laughs> and the holy we, prize. It's the holy prize, and we'll, we'll organise and we'll send something out to you. Because just for anyone else that's watching and thinks that I made that up, no, there is such a thing. So you can see there to one side of the arrangement there is where I brought in the three stems of them, giving us a little bit of flowing and a little bit of movement. And again, they do look quite nice. You see over to one I side. I just see um, Carrie O'Connor is on from Tralee. Tralee. So Carrie again is one of our past students. She has a fabulous page called um, Holly and Willow or Willow and Holly. So Carrie, if you're watching, tag your page. And she sells amazing dories. Absolutely fabulous. Of course, they're amazing because she's trained by me. Um, but like artificial and dried dories. And, um, but really nice quality. Like, yeah. Really nice, like luxury sort of kind of like artificial ones. So go onto her page and have a look. Deirdre, how did we uh, wire these the last time? I have a complete... We actually wrapped the wire around. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot them for a second. Um, so these are like dried oranges. They have them in limes as well in the wholesalers and all flower shops sell them. And they're normally, every year we have them, they're a feckin' nuisance to try and wire because normally I try to stick the wire through one side and try and find the matching hole on the other side. And these are rock hard, like, you know what I mean? You, you can't the, just the, the guts are still inside them. like they... Yeah, the guts are still inside the orange. So inside the orange, it's soft like the wire will go through no problem but to try and get it to come out through one of them cracks on the other side and last year we eventually worked out now maybe it was just us being gobshites but we worked out then <laughs> and we kind of round wrapped the wire around the two slits and brought them underneath and twisted them together but you can see there i actually forgot there for a few minutes how we actually did it last year because it's a year since i've used them so again get your orange slice Put the wire in between the slits, leave a bit sticking out, wrap the, you need long wires by the way, wrap the wire around and then when the two wires kind of meet each other, then is you can kind of twist them. And I find when you're putting them into the floral foam, if you do a little bit of a U-bend at the bottom before you stick it in, it grips the dry oasis a lot easier. Now again, if you have orange slices and you can dry out the orange slices yourself, I see somebody in the flowery fun group had all her oranges all sliced and she was putting them in a kind of a, a low heat oven or whatever and um, she was using them uh, and Cher the Cherry Perkins says that she uh, pierces them with a darning needle and then the wire goes through. Great idea, great idea. Um, so, okay. Looking look at all the eucalyptus again. behind you, can you show us how to preserve it? Hang it upside down and just let it dry. Like people will say, and again if anybody is watching and knows a lot more about this because genuinely I don't know a lot about it and that's being honest, is you can use like silica gel and silica powder to dry it as well. But personally all I do with the eucalyptus is tie a string around it get a couple of branches at the same time do you know that way and just somewhere dry and i find if it's dark it's better a host color better than if it's a bright room so you know the way sometimes under your stairs where you dump everything in under the stairs that cubby hole that's an ideal place to do it or even your hot press you know where you have the immersion in ireland turn off the immersion anybody has an immersion press again hang it upside down and the heat of the immersion will dry it out and it's nice and dark and that's fabulous spray that, that one is just gorgeous and again i will use it next week and we spray it maybe rose gold or something luxurious whatever we do a natural as well we kind of do a little bit of each and um, just some of these oh hang on you can uh, the orange slices in the pound shop the pound shop have the orange slices have the actual orange slices brilliant absolutely brilliant now also what i have is um some moss now this was dried fresh moss now again the culture used to be laughing at the old dubs going out buying moss okay so what we did was we bought a box of dried fresh moss 
So it's probably somebody in Kerry said, you listen, them dubs will buy anything. They go out and they gathered up a bit of fresh moss, they dried it up, they put it in a little fancy box with a bit of cellophane over it, and Chiro's dubs went and bought it. Do you know that? Um, Sharon says, some people have a fear of pumpkins and it's called cuckoo bitobia. <laughs> well, we have to believe her. We can't <laughs> with that one. So will we send her a prize? I will well? send her a prize. So Sharon, you're going to get a prize as well. So send us your email address and we'll sort something out. Have a clue what it's going to be. Um, but we'll sort something out for you. So what I did, anyway, back to our um, Kulchi Moss. <laughs> that, I don't know where this moss came from. To be honest, it could have even came from Holland, for all I know. And I just gave it a dash of the black spray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it for covering so I can kind of break it up into small pieces, right? And I'm going to use it to get a little bit of coverage in around our um, material. So just kind of like breaking it up, pressing it onto the foam. I'll show you now how I'll hold that in place. And in between like the material, you know, like down onto it. And I just kind of find it just makes it more natural looking than leaving the oasis kind of just completely sprayed black. Now don't worry about that bit falling off. So what you do then is you get some wires, okay? Any length wires and any gauge wires. And you cut them into about that length there, right? So, I'm gonna, so I got three lengths out of the wire and I have a couple of them there at the same time. Bend them over in half and you're making what I call pins. And um, if anybody has a little strap for Fitbit, <laughs> send it on to me. It's driving me mad. I've lost a little bit of it. So what I'm now going to do is get my little pins and then I'm going to pin the moss on. So it's a, little, a bit like um, pinning on rollers in your hair, you know, the way our clips, because that's really what it is. It's I've just made like little clips with it and I'm just sticking them in here and there and that will help to hold the moss in place. Uh, so Jeanette, around the back there, let you see the back. That's a, it's actually gorgeous it is. Uh, somebody's just asking Jeanette about the lavender that we used in the wreath yeah. last week. Where did we get it? Um, well, that was from a woman's garden up in Rathbarnham. <laughs> And we didn't rob it. It was donated. Rob it. We had permission to rob it. Um, so that was actually at somebody's garden. Nicola was. up in Raffarnham, yeah. But do you know what? If you're on the South Circle Road, down near the stadium, you know the boxing stadium? There's a house nearly facing it. And I'm not messing. The lavender is out onto the footpath. I'm so tempted some of the days when I'm out walking that way myself, I'd love to rob a bit of it. And again, flower shops sell it dried at the moment. Absolutely. And do you know, the one that's dried is probably a little bit nicer because they would have dried it when it was actually in flower and it was still purpley where the one that I had there was very little purple it was it was dried basically on the somebody tray. is asking them um, are we running autumn courses no but we have like lots of autumnal um arrangements on our autumnal course we have and sure maybe one of the days we might offer a discount off that Deirdre yeah 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 um, not today just not too today, much today not today so yeah. listen we'll come back to you on that one okay and um but we have Christmas courses we have we have our Christmas courses I'm just using a couple of these little dried um What's the name of these ones? I have a blank. Show me. What have you got? Um, Happy heads. heads. Yeah. Um, the mice love these, by the way. So I'm just using a couple of these, just kind of like down through the arrangement on the inside of the twigs, just to give me another feature. I just like arrangements to be a little bit kind of see-through. I hate kind of for something just to be at the back and at the front. So I'm just using a couple, like probably four of them, just kind of down in between it, kind of coming from the pumpkins. And it's just giving, it's probably only myself that notices it, but I actually think it's looking really well now. It's just kind of finishing um, off. Somebody's just asking touch if they're needed. not living in Ireland, what can they do the Christmas workshop? You can, you can do the Christmas workshop. And it's a workshop. program, isn't it, yeah? Yeah, so the three-week Christmas program is 300 euros, and that's for the three-week Christmas program. Anybody that's outside Ireland, in the UK, or Europe, or abroad, etc., you can get a 75 euros discount, but we don't supply you with the kit. But everything else is exactly the same. You get the 25 to 30 online tutorials. You get the week in the bloom room. We just don't post a kit out to you. It's just a little bit more difficult time-wise than that, trying to post materials out when it's kind of like abroad. When I say abroad, you know the way it's just- Outside like Ireland, difficult. yeah. Exactly. So there is our pumpkin arrangement in all artificial. So I don't know, do you like it? Was yeah, no, they are, yeah, it's lovely. So nobody asked me what it costs because I haven't got a clue, okay? But any of our students, you know the story we're costing, write down your recipe, write down all the materials that you've used, and then you're able to work out the cost price. And those proteas, um, they're probably about 15 euro each. Yeah, they, yeah, they're, yeah, they, expensive, they're ones. expensive ones, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna clean the table. Mr. K, hopefully he'll come in later on and he'll clean all up after me. So our next one is, I'm going to use, again, the pumpkin, but I've left it natural this time. 
and I've used the same bulb bowl that I threw on the floor so just in case if we have anybody late watching go back to the very beginning and you'll be able to watch everything from the beginning we're on a quarter to 12 now we are and remember please click share and let me know you've clicked share by writing the word share you might okay? even get a prize yeah you never know you could get a prize we see somebody has done lots and lots of shares so all I have here is we've scooped out a hole in the pumpkin We've sprayed the inside of the pumpkin with um, bleach, like Domestus bleach, watered down. About one third bleach, two thirds water. We have put dry oasis, I showed this at the very beginning of the tutorial, okay? How I cut it, etc. I then sprayed the top of the floral, oh, the floral foam, it's dry floral foam, and I sprayed it with a mixture of green spray with a little dash of black spray. Because the green I had was a bit fluorescent green and I wanted it a bit darker so I just put a tiny dash of dark black spray on t dark dark black spray is dark you get the idea okay and we've two new prizes for this section okay so what's so going? on Facebook we are giving away um, a voucher for the Midas touch oh the Midas touch is amazing now if my friend Audrey Keegan is watching, Audrey Keegan is the receptionist up in the Midas Touch. So when you're making your appointment, you can contact Audrey. The Midas Touch is up in Clondalkin. It's a fabulous beauty therapist, beauty um, salon. They have lots and lots of staff. They offer absolutely everything. This is their little booklet. You should probably show the wrong side of it. Um, with all the different treatments you can get done from getting your teeth whitened, your eyebrows, your makeup. Uh, oh, they even supply gorgeous looking men. <laughs> I'll be booking in there myself and you too can come out looking as pretty as her anyway. Midas Touch, it is an amazing salon. We've got lots of treatments up there. The owners are Anne and I have a blank on Cleary's name. Pauline. Pauline. Pauline Cleary. Pauline Cleary, I think. Yeah, there's Pauline. Pauline Cleary and Anne is the two of them run it. Audrey is the girl on the receptionist and there's lots and lots of beautician staff up there. They have sent us out a voucher for a back massage. You know, I think your man actually... Does your man do the back is he massage? Going to do? Audrey? Audrey, can you confirm? Does he do the back massage? Are we going to have him do him the treatment? So this is how you're organising to give this out. And um, so this is we're going to give this one on Facebook, and I think they tag and follow Midas Touch. Right, so make sure you tag Audrey at the Midas Touch. Is it their Midas Touch or um, Midas Touch? I'd say it's order? just Midas Touch. Audrey, yeah, Midas Touch. Yeah. 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 So at sign Midas Touch, and make sure you tag Audrey, and um, and we're going to give organize and give that out to somebody. There and then well. on Instagram, we're going to give away a prize that really only our students and past students and florists absolutely well no so anybody else that's watching that's not a student or not a florist this probably is not relevant to you but we have a company who we deal with is he in canada i think he's in canada, think yeah. he's in canada. james is his name and it's called flora guppy f-l-o-r-a guppy so i need you on instagram to do the at sign and i want you to write flora guppy and he's going to send you out one of these bags okay but full also, of stuff Full of stuff, that's the great thing. Now, our one is, this is our bag, okay? You're not getting this one. Our one is filthy. You know, you can see, I it's use it all well the time. Used. I use it when I'm going to events. It holds loads and loads of stuff. So your one is going to be full of stuff. Have me clear what he's going to put in there. But I presume he's going to put in the flooring up here, okay? So tell me on Instagram, what do we here at Case Flower School use these for? There's a couple of different things you can use them for, so any of the answers will do. And we we'll pick one of you with one of your ones that tag us and get kind of a right answer anyway and you win the flora so we want the answer and we want him tagged yeah we have to tag him okay because it's probably the middle of the night over there so he's probably asleep and i want james when he wakes up that he sees that his page is being followed from lots and lots of newbies and that you have tagged his page and it will be coming from canada so it could take I yeah, he's know, he's one, posting two, it directly. Post so it we need to, it is. to tag him and tell us what do you use it for in the one message. Okay, all in the one message. But you can answer as many. Oh, as many as you want. Many yeah, ones. absolutely. Okay, so dried is back in fashion. I actually was so shocked. I never thought dried flares was going to come back. And this is called dried status. Now again, you've often seen me use sea spray and limoniums here at the school. So this is the same thing, just dried out. And this is how, that's actually a bunch, okay? So that's how they send it out. That's wholesale, how they send it out. So go into your local flower shop and they will, I'm full of the black paint I am. Go into your local flower shop and you can organise to buy a bunch of the dried. So I have cut up, not all of the bunch there, there's most of the bunch I have cut up. And here's the rest of it here. 
So what I'm kind of doing is cutting in between it and making like little sprigs out of it. I'll hold up and I'll show you now what I mean. Do you see? I'm going to take that one off as well. So I'm making like little sprigs like this. And then what I'm going to do, I have a lot to cut up. I might need an extra bit. Is I'm going around the bottom of the floral foam as close to the edge as possible. Some of these pieces are a little bit shorter and some of them are a little bit longer. I'm saying that to cover myself because I wasn't exact when I was doing it. But I want this, you don't want this to look too rigid looking. Um, so I'm making a kind of a, a posy sort of shape around the edge of the posy, the posy bowl or the bulb bowl. But again, without being too rigid, rigid and without being too kind of exact, okay? So the pieces are not all the exact same length. They're more or less the same length. Now I'm gonna work from the front here because I just kind of find it easier in certain days because the stems are brittle and just to get them in more secure, I need to be kind of working face to me. But what I'll do then is I'll turn around just so that you can see what I'm doing. So if you have to tell us there, Deirdre. No, um, no, just- Tell us the comments coming They're out. absolutely, they love, they love that other arrangement. I think on Facebook there could be a few more shares. And I know, on Facebook, you, we depend on you. We normally get over 200 of you watching and we need you to click share to get the party rolling, okay? Because remember, the reason we're coming on live to do these is we're raising funds for Look Good, Feel Better. Charity that supports women going through cancer, okay? Makes, puts the big smile back on their faces and by God, do they need it, okay? And it costs 100 euros per um, client, patient if you want to call it, um, to organise that they have these specialist makeup artists, wig specialists, skincare specialists, etc. And so far we have raised 4,600. So that's 46 people, isn't it? Yeah. That's 46 women. Absolutely that well, we yeah. Have actually, and we will, you know, when the when the money gets handed over. Not that we have the money, by the way. It's in a GoFundMe um, kind of an account. But um, that'll be 46 women out there. So we want to get another four women. Tan Organics get... have checked in. So Tan Organics, we've actually given... You're probably wondering why you've got all the tags. Yes, so we've... What we've been doing is by the beginning of the box there is on Instagram we're giving away well one of the prizes that you gave us that you sent out to us and we've been explaining that every sale of Tan Organics during the month is going to a pound or one euro yeah. is going to go to look good feel better so we're going to give this prize away to somebody on Instagram and we've just been asking them to tag you and obviously go over and follow you as well we're going to announce at the end. So, Tan Organics, you can tune in while we're doing a dried flower arrangement. You missed our silk arrangement that we did earlier on. So, as I said, we're working with the status, working around the edge of the pumpkin. Anybody that's late joining in, you can always go back to the beginning and you can re-watch this at any stage. We are looking for a little bit of sharing, okay, to let's get the word um, out there. Joan wants to know how many times can you share it? As many times as you want. As yeah, but I think if you share you too much, you might get... You might get blocked by Facebook. Yeah, when you click share, you can share it to your own page. But sometimes you're also given an option to share it. Midas to Touch has tuned in as well. So big, big hello to Midas Touch. We just announced your um. We haven't given it away yet, but we announced your voucher. We were all just wondering, was the good looking man that's in the brochure? Will he be given the back massage? So we're giving away your back massage voucher today. We're getting everybody to tag you. So again, Annie, we haven't given any of the prizes away. We're giving them away later on when the, when we finish demonstrating because Deirdre's up to her eyes there trying to keep track of what's going on. Now, as you can see with the status, I'm just kind of like filling it in a bit like a kind of a posy shape. And once you have all your little pieces kind of cut up, as I said, it's so easy to kind of insert them. And insert them on an angle that you're seeing the right side of it. Like there's no point in inserting that one that direction. Do you know the way our side is? It's kind of inserted on an angle into the dry oasis. And again, anybody only joining, this is dry oasis that I'm working with. I do have it sprayed a kind of a, a greeny color because it's easier to camouflage it and um, it just kind of looks more natural where dry oasis normally comes gray. The dry oasis is really, or sorry, dried flower arrangements are really, really popular at the moment. Now, the great thing about this one, somebody was asking earlier on about the pumpkin lasting. And I said the pumpkin will last about two weeks. But the thing is, you will be able to scoop out your bulb bowl out of the pumpkin and you'll still have the arrangement. Somebody's actually asking, what did you put on top? It is Oasis, yeah. Yeah, it is Dry Oasis. And go back to the very beginning later on. And you can watch from the beginning because we're on the second arrangement now. You've missed the first one you have. And you'll, I've done this kind of a silk version. There we go. Just for anybody that's late joining in, this is the one that I did earlier on at the beginning of the demo. And if you are joining in, we are looking for you to share the page. We're giving away lots of giveaways. So that's why in the comments, you'll see all the different companies tagged. 
lots of companies have come on to sponsor prizes and we're doing this live class today to raise funds for look good feel better we're on 4,600 and well I'd say we could it. be up a little bit more now because if somebody is on Actually, there I'm doing a the donation you'll be able to check what it's up to we are trying to get it up to 5,000 okay and we're not looking for well we are looking for huge donations but listen we're quite happy with five euros ten euros and as I said it's a free class so what do you think the class is worth so I have a little bit of status there as you can see kind of filled in and now I'm going to work with some dried flowers so you've seen me work with the artificial proteas earlier on and they were amazing looking but these are actually the dried ones okay and some celosia here as well so i'm going to use a couple of these in the arrangement so i'm going to keep it a little bit modern by having like say a group of them kind of quite close together so i'm going to use two or three of these together in a group so there we go and remember all your drives can be reused again you see at another stage and then in the center of the arrangement, I'm going to have a little group of them coming up. Now, don't this too high. I want everything kind of in among the dried because the dried status is what I actually, what actually mean. Because, again, it's kind of more of a packed kind of um, a traditional sort of arrangement where the one I did previously was a more kind of contemporary modern style arrangement. But I'm giving this a little bit of a modern twist by not actually dividing the stuff around evenly, which there's nothing wrong with it. I just kind of like something a little bit different. Now, I might come back to the couple of proteas, but I'm now going to work on my poppy heads. So I'm going to cut a couple of our poppy heads. Now, so Dee is just saying that they, um, that did you cut a hole at the top of the pumpkin that she missed the beginning of? I have to go back. You're late to the show. You're late to the show. And don't be asking questions at this day. <laughs> no, listen, we did. We scooped out the pumpkin. But if you go back to the very, very beginning when this is over, you'll see it all step by step exactly what we did. And um, so we scooped out the pumpkin the way you'd normally scoop out a pumpkin, you know the way that you have a lid. It's just that today we're not using the lid. But if you do go back and you look at some of the other free classes that we've done for Look Good, Feel Better, you will see that I did use the lids in different designs. And I worked with all fresh um, pumpkins or fresh flowers in our pumpkins last week. So again, over this side of the arrangement, I'm just doing a little group of our poppy heads, no particular pattern. I'm going to be pushing one or two of them down a little bit further than others just to give a little bit of a texture and again over the other side of the arrangement again don't be symmetrical about this don't be thinking you have to work in trees you can work in any number you want i'm going to make another little group of our little poppy heads are you designing this Jeanette? i'm creating it i am or i'm making it up as i go along you know yourself this is my favorite word to students like all these people who call themselves designers way is egypt you are making it up as you go along so i um, love sives flares says i tell you she says she's a need a gin after this because you're I'm flying <laughs> absolutely absolutely well all i want is donations so that's why we're on we're here to raise funds for look good feel better so anybody that's watching the smallest donation it will be pinned to the top of the page when we're finished the live we'll put the link in the heading it's just like when you're trying to do the live and get it all organized it's hard to do everything now i have a couple of these dried out lemons oranges. Or oranges and i did use them earlier on in the artificial arrangement and i explained the easiest way to wire them is put your wire in through the side slot leave a bit sticking out wrap the wire around and go through the other slot on the opposite side and then you can twist your two wires together and before you insert it into the foam is if you do a little hairpin bend at the end it grips the foam better so there's one of our i'm going to turn somebody on instagram on is looking to see how do they donate um, I will have the donate button in my bio. Yeah, it's just it's I actually changed my bio late. We were yesterday. a bit disorganized this morning, so, so I will have it in the bio later on. Yeah. Yes. But yes. it's it's let me say it's just giving giving dot com and it's case flare school. So well, wait, make sure you do it to the right one because otherwise, if you do it to the wrong one, and then we won't see air money going up. So hang on a few minutes, and we will. We'll answer you later on, and we'll give you the proper link. So that's again just turning that on the side. I've just put two lemons or two oranges. Keep calling them lemons. Two oranges in there. Now I'm also going to use some of the allium heads that Deirdre dried. You know, you've seen that we got them for nothing. So I'm going to add in, and I think them in singles is probably enough. So we'll add one over there. And we will add one over the opposite side, you know, just to give us, again, more textures. As you can see, I'm not following any particular pattern. And remember, this bulb bowl can be lifted out of the pumpkin. 
You can clean out a new pumpkin in a week or two weeks time and again you can sit it back down into it because the pumpkins only last about two weeks and if your room is very very warm at home you might find you might even get two weeks out. And I would recommend if you have this on your coffee table is to put them on a plate. Put it on a plate because he's inclined to leak he is. <laughs> he doesn't he's inclined to leak yeah he has bad kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> is it a he? I think it's a he. I won't say that rude. So what I have now is my wheats. Remember the wheats that I thought was barley, okay? These are from Sligo. So I bought these in the wholesalers as well and they came kind of in that dry colour. And um, I'm not sure, have we posted the video on how to make the wheat wheat in the, with the dry colour? No, no we haven't, have? no. Okay, so we do have another tutorial um, to, to post up on the page. I know you may have missed us during the week because during the week um, we just had such a mental week here at the school and what we did was we did pre-recorded lives. Now the only thing, we did get a couple of donations with the pre-recorded lives but you don't get the same sort of um, reaction donations when I'm not there to keep encouraging you to click share and remember to donate and tag the companies. Now again, anybody that's just joining us, Companies that are sponsoring us today, and we need you to tag the companies, okay? Instagram and Facebook, and we're going to pick a winner later on. So we have a back massage from them, sorry, Midas Touch up in Clondalkin. So do the at sign, Midas Touch, and you could win a back massage. We have fabulous cakes to come from, and the other one is on the table there, the bake. What's it called? Uh, the Bake Box Boutique. Bake Box Boutique, is it? Sorry. The Bake Box Boutique. They're in Blanchardstown. Don't enter that one unless you're in Blanchardstown. Or even say I'm in Blanchardstown because we need you to collect the cakes or she'll deliver them to you, right? We also have, what else have we got, Deirdre? The Crafty Lady. The Crafty Lady. We have a, Mc, a McCrammy, I think is how you pronounce it. It's for hanging a pot plant or a flower arrangement. It's handmade. It's beautiful. Bernadette Kayla would go gorgeous with your art and jumper that you bought from the Donegal shop with one of our other vouchers. Um, but it's beautiful it is. And um, anybody, again, like do the at sign, the crafty lady and the letter C and you could be in with a chance to win that prize. What else have we got? Tan Organics. Tan Organics. So anybody that wants to get bronzed and beautiful, seeing that we can't go away on holidays, you even get the mitt and all. Your man doesn't come with it to rub it in your back, but you could find somebody. And again, you have your preparation oil and you have your, your tanning lotion there. I'd love that prize for myself. I would. That's a fantastic prize. And I'd say that's worth a few pounds as well. Uh, we've the floral guppies. Oh, the floral guppy, yeah. So anybody on Instagram, we're offering this one on Instagram. My guppy holders are falling out of it. But this is Flora, F-L-O-R-A. Flora guppy, all one word. Tag him on Instagram. He's in Canada. And he sent out this bag. Now, we use these bags when we're going to events for holding all our florist materials. But it's going to be full of materials, okay, that he's going to send out to you. They fell on the floor there. But the guppy holder. And what we need to know is what do we use the guppy holder for? Because obviously that prize is only relevant to somebody who does flowers. If you don't do flowers, it's probably a new um, Somebody price. just wants to know how do we re or how do we rewatch what you've made already? Okay. On Instagram, this will go on to IGTV. Okay. So it'll be on the IGTV that you can, once it's over, it'll go up there. On YouTube, it'll be on YouTube within about a half an hour of us finishing. And on Facebook, it just stays as a pinned Facebook post. Um, there was another question. What was the other question that I thought of? Oh, Must have been a lie. Must have been a lie. So you can oh, see the um, working around. Go on. The the free knots course. Oh, Everyone yeah. got notified oh, this morning. Don't mention that free knots course. <laughs> <laughs> that free knots course. Oh my God! You were ringing me at half nine at night and ten o'clock, and you were sending me text text messages and all the rest. Oh my God! There was only thirty places. But are we allowed to say? Yeah. They then actually increased it to 60 places. So there's 60 people out there are getting your email today or tomorrow, okay? Yeah, no, this, say, morning, they, this morning, I just see they were sent out. Nothing yeah. to do with us, okay? I picked nobody, nothing to do with us. Any problems, any disputes, go to nuts. <laughs> we'll no, be supplying There the was course. 700 people applied for the course. Oh my God, that is So out of 700 people, 60 people. That's, and I know, think okay. it was just, I think in the end she just randomly picked um, you couldn't pick. Like, you couldn't. How could you pick? You no. know that way. And so, everyone, but she just emailed me this morning to say that they had all they were all being notified this morning. All right, so, so check, out check your, your spam. I don't have any details of who was. And do check your spam picked. folder because their emails are inclined to go into spam as well. So just check that out. Okay, um, so you can see the way I'm still just kind of like packing this out. And that's the thing about dried. I love them kind of I hate the dried arrangement to be skimpy and looking, you know that way. 
keep turning it around and as I said I'm putting the materials in in groups rather than kind of dividing it up I just personally I just think it's a nicer way of kind of adding them into the arrangement and I think I'm going to use another couple of these allium heads I think these are gorgeous aren't they yeah they give a lovely texture they do so I didn't think I'd put them in in twos but I am actually going to put them in in twos I just kind of change your more. design changing my design making it up as I go along my favorite glass words but um, aren't they gorgeous? See, look, look at the filler that they kind of give. And you see, we got them for nothing. Wouldn't it be amazing? And what I might do is during the week is I will show you where I lift out this arrangement and I put it in one of the other pumpkins. You know, that way, just to kind of show you what it looks like. In case anybody's wondering, God, are you able? There's no problem lifting it out. Just get the edge of your nails, you know, that way, and it'll lift up. I have it well wedged in. So I'm just using these alliums as a filler kind of around in and out through the arrangement. And you can see I've used so many of these alliums um, where I sprayed some black for I this actually planted loads of them. Did you? <laughs> for next yeah. year. For next this year. This is the yeah. time to stick the bulbs yeah, so down. Anybody get in and plant your alliums. Um, oh, Jackie Neal, and she got an email. She sent love hearts. I presume she got an email to say she got a place. Congratulations, Jackie. So we'll see you on the 2nd of November. Watch out for an email from us, and we'll be telling you exactly what you have to do to join up to the free course. So just another tiny little bit of filler here and there. Dried flowers. I often used to call the dried flowers fecky arrangements. You'll be fecking around for ages, and suddenly the thing actually starts to come together. But it is. It's a bit slow and tedious, and you can see why flowers charge so much for a dried arrangement, where a silk one or a fresh one, you kind of actually see things happening so, so much quicker. So again, I'm just doing another little bit of filler. As I said, I hate the dried arrangements to be skimpy, so I prefer them to be just that little bit fuller. I just think they're nicer. So, Somebody says, oh, they didn't get the Christmas course. The Christmas course wasn't um, for the knots. It was the whole program. Yeah, it was the whole program it was. Yeah, so you're so, actually getting over a thousand euros. I think 1,200 yeah. 1200, euros worth of a course you were getting. It's a certificate course. So you wouldn't, it wasn't just the Christmas course, it wasn't. Um, they're all absolutely mad. I, I'm actually curious to see, do they prefer the dried or the silk? Um, See, they're, because they're loving the they're chalk and cheese, aren't they? You yeah, know, they're, they're com two kind of completely um, different designs. Gap here. Donation done, Deirdre, and shared on Facebook. Oh, thanks Fair very place. much. Thanks a million. So again, anybody that's don oh, donating, now remember we have other prizes to give away on the donation page. So when you donate, you can do it anon anonymously if you want to, but there's a section to put a comment in. Put your email address, because we've no way of contacting you about the prize if you don't put your email address in there. So stick your email in, and then we can contact you. And we're going to do this all later on this evening. You're doing it tonight, Deirdre, when you're, when you're doing nothing. When I'm doing nothing, yeah, that's it. I think. What do you think around there, dear? Yeah, that looks fab. Enough. What about the top of it? They're loving the dried, loving the dried, loving the dried. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's fab. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's fab, lovely. Fab, or fab, 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 fab. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to clear our table. So again, there's a bit of mess there. So clear that over there. So there's one of our arrangements, and that's what was left out of the full bunch of starters. So that's the bunch of starters. That was what's left over after um, greening up, as I call it, like putting the status in the arrangement. And again, if anybody asks me how much stuff did I put in, rewind and make a note of it, because I literally worked from bundles here. I wasn't on a cost or a selling price or a budget. I was doing something that I thought would be nice for the... Somebody on Instagram said that they um, have loads of drives and now they know what to do with it. Well, listen, that's only one idea. I have loads more ideas. And we will come on another day and do another free live class doing drive but just pull the black one over that way tiny little bit way. yeah that way that way yeah perfect no so yeah. that more around. no that way a little bit this way um cherry says she drives her own status herself Fair very page, easy yeah. to drive and um, again if you're selling it why don't you advertise it on the page over in the flowery fun group there's lots of flowers over there and they would probably be interested in buying it from you holly and willow said i just want to know how to donate on instagram i will have it in my bio the in the next not in the half bio an hour yet, Carrie, but we will put it in but again go over to our facebook page and the link will definitely be on the facebook page and sharon Boyne says yay she's got in for the course so she's delighted Brilliant. somebody else posted that they got in for the course excellent that's, um, brilliant. that's brilliant i'll see I like you all, all things on to the 2nd of november things. and don't be worrying we'll have all the details emailed out to you beforehand but the course won't actually start till monday the 2nd of november that's anybody that's watching that got the email from nuts not from us 
nothing to do with us. Don't be bringing me up giving out. Somebody said that they um, that they actually don't like dried, but they love that. Ah, oh, thanks very much. Yeah. And you know what you can do is if you have any oils, you know, like um, I'm saying lavender oils, but you know the aromatherapy oils. If you drop the aromatherapy oils on them, like again, if you had like an orange spiced smell one now, and you dropped it on that, it gives that lovely scent, and it's a bit like potpourri. As I said, the pumpkin is only going to last about two weeks, but it's actually a bowl bowl like that set down into the hole and it's wedged and all you have to do then is get your nails around it and lift it up throw the pumpkin into a black sack or if you have chickens um, and hens hens yeah. uh, hens hens and chickens same thing isn't yes it? yeah they absolutely love them and we got a little bit of um oh yeah information yeah. about chickens the and pumpkins that, do you that, want to tell yes yeah, so the, so somebody sends an email about how, how hens actually love pumpkins but that they're the pumpkin seeds are a natural wormer for hens so go. needless to say when so these are all cleaned out worms, start eating the seeds out the inside of the pumpkin and we guarantee the worms will be gone out in a week or so <laughs> <laughs> otherwise give it to somebody that has loads of chickens you can so actually buy pumpkin seeds for the one to your yeah so but i remember having them toasted somebody toasted them before they're absolutely oh, gorgeous i'm not toasting they for the chickens i love to worry me <laughs> So listen, I hope you've enjoyed that class. It's 10 past it's 20. an hour, so yeah. We, we weren't far off when we said it would be an hour. Remember, tag all the sponsors today. So tag Tan Organics, so the at sign, Tan Organics. Tag the Bake Box Boutique, okay. Tag Midas Touch, that was for the back massage. Tag the craft, so tag the tax. crafty lady, you can tax them as well. The crafty lady, see, we're going to put up all the links later on when we're finished. Who else? Midas Touch. In? Midas Touch, that was for the back Floral Guppy. Floral Guppy, that was for the bag of floral sundries, which will suit somebody that's in the flower business. Um, what else? And oh. we're going to have loads more prizes. We've loads of jewellery sets and... Um, the Vouchers. Fabulous, um, what's that gorgeous... Um, Arma not Armani. Um, oh, it's the orange box. She's on the win page. She gave the prize. Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember. Yeah, it's a skincare set. Oh, yes, um, Ardile, Jane Ardile. Yeah, what was the name of the makeup stuff? Can't, Can't remember. remember. Anyway, we've loads, loads more prizes. It's just that we'd be here all day giving off the prizes. And listen, we're going to save some of them to next week as well. We have more great prizes for next week. And we will be on. Don't know what day we're going to go live. But listen, I'll post a link up on the page reminding everybody in advance when we're going to go live. Now, before anybody goes, click share and make sure you donate. I want a donation from everybody that watched today. Even if you donated before, at the end of the day, you've just got a free class. I yeah. have to be worth five euros or ten euros this class and to be honest i'm cheapening myself at that okay so go on make a donation for what you think the class was worth and remember we're going to pick some names out of the do donation page and we'll send you on a prize as well anything else no that's it goodbye good luck listen have a fantastic day and we'll see you all next week bye bye see you